Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see the purpose of valuation. Why we need to do the valuation of a particular structure or a building. So the first purpose of valuation is for buying or selling any property. See, valuation is carried out or it is done both by the seller or the buyer if you want to find a reasonable amount or, or the reasonable price or the market price at which you can buy any property or you can sell any property so the first purpose of valuation is very clear that if you want to buy for example if i have to buy a property say a flat so i must know that how much is the market value of that particular property because I want to buy that property or that flat. So what I will do, I will first decide its value or I will calculate or I will find out the value of that particular flat or a property before buying. Similarly, if any owner wants to sell his property, what he will do before selling the property, he must know that his property will be sold at how much price. So for that, what he will do, he will carry out the valuation so the first purpose is clear for buying or selling the property then for the determination of rent see you can even find out the value of property and decide how much rent you can earn from that particular property for example you have a building and you know that a, part a particular building is for so and so amount means that its value is so and so so you will calculate how much amount of rent that particular building can fetch if you give that building on the rent and specially when it is required by the government or semi-government organization you must find out the value of a property for example if there is a building there is a government building and they want to rent it for private sector means for private people so what they will do they will find out the valuation of that building and then they will rent that building according to the fair rent means how much is the current amount of that particular building and how much for how much amount a particular building in the same locality can be rented the same building so that they will do especially in which sector government or semi government sector or organization then Rent is usually fixed on the percentage basis. For example, the cost of a building is 10 lakh. So, what is the percentage amount? It is generally taken as 6 to 10 percent of the valuation. So, 6 to 10 percent of 10 lakh will be the rent fixed of that particular building. Then, the third purpose of valuation is for mortgage and security of loans. See, while advancing or for or while giving any amount as a loan to somebody they will take a mortgage or security of a property and that for that purpose you must know the value of a building for example if you want to take a loan of say 10 lakh rupees so any bank or the lender what they will do they will check whether you have the property worth 10 lakh rupees so that they can recover that 10 lakh amount of loan from the from your property so what they will do they will carry out the valuation for fixing the mortgage and for the security of the loans. So that is the third purpose of valuation. Then for the assessment of tax or for the taxation purpose, even for the taxation purpose, you can carry out the valuation. See, the value of a newly built property for the purpose of assessing the amount of expenditure incurred is determined by the income tax authorities. What they will do? They will check any newly building property for assessing how much expenditure is incurred to produce that particular property and who who will do that income tax authorities will do that and why they will do that to ensure that the expenditure corresponds with the known sources of income of the owner for example owner has said that i wasted my money in 
building that property so i will i will i want exemption from the tax income tax so they will cross check whether he is saying that whether he required the same expenditure for producing that property or not so for that they will check the value of the building and therefore that they will carry out the valuation for fixation of the tax so which type of taxes they will be there may be municipal municipal taxes wealth taxes property tax house estate duty gift tax all these taxes for all these taxes you can carry out the valuation of a building then the next purpose of valuation is the acquisition see sometimes property is compulsorily acquired by the government for example if government wants to construct any road so what they will do for the construction of road which is very must they will acquire the property which is coming in between that uh, center line of the road or the alignment of the road so for that they will uh, they will what they will do they will acquire that property and they must know how much is the current value of that property so that they can pay the compensation to the owner so for that what they will do they will carry out the valuation so for compulsory acquisition also by the government valuation is required and last some other purposes of the valuation are for the insurance against the fire of the building then compensation for any loss due to war earthquake etc you can do the valuation for example you lost your property in war or in earthquake so you will get compensation for the government compensation from the government so for that you will carry out the valuation that my property was so and so amount so i want compensation for that then for borrowing the money from the insurance company or the bank or any institutions you will carry out the valuation and for auction bids also for valuation is required so this was the video on the purpose of valuation thank you